What's going on guys? Alex Earth 814 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the PMP Knives User 2. So this is the fourth and final knife that Dawn over at DNK Knives sent me. Uh, again, Dawn, huge shout out to you, man. I really do appreciate it and have appreciated all the, uh, you know, all the content I've been able to make from these knives. Uh, just getting to check out some knives that I have previously not gotten to handle and, you know, experiencing new things is always cool as a knife collector and knife owner. So thank you again, buddy. Um, but the PMP user two is the first PMP knife that I've ever handled. And this is probably has been, or was the most excitable one when I picked out my list and sent it to Dawn. Um, I've kind of had my eye on this one for a while to check out. I saw someone post about it on Instagram. I forget who it was. Um, it might've been Javon over at Javon's Knife Flicks um, or J Javon's Knife Addict Life, I think is what his Instagram is. Um, you guys know John. Um, I think I saw him post about it and I just seemed like a really intriguing model. I'm a big front flipper fan, uh, you know, and it just seemed like a cool model. So when I saw it on um, Don's website, I was like, oh, I think this was the first one that I um, added to the list for him to send me. But uh, I was pretty excited to get it in. And I have, you know, this has been my, probably the, my, my most favorite, uh, my favorite it is. It's not a word, um, but it's been the one that I've handled the most. I've carried the most. Uh, I've enjoyed the most out of the four that he has sent me. Um, and it's, it's a cool package. It's a cool knife, I think, with a lot of cool materials. And uh, it's, it's pretty dope. So getting in the materials, you guys can see it. It is rocking a blackened titanium body. Um, it is a front flipper, obviously, like I said. So you have a nice flipper tab right there. Nice, slim, sleek design. Uh, nice and thin as well. There is the PMP logo. It almost has, it's to me, it's like a combination of a drop point with like a little bit of a recurve. Uh, you guys might be able to pick up on that. Just the way the blade is shaped. Um, it's, it's a little unique in my opinion, but I think it's really nice. Um, comes down to a thin edge. It's a full flat grind. Um, you have a pretty thin stock as well. Um, so it makes it nice and slicey. Um, over here it says user two. And you guys can see right there, this blade steel, if it'll pick up and focus, is S90V, which is cool. Um, you know, you don't see a lot of S90V on production knives, in my opinion. Um, they're starting to utilize it more and more, but I've had good experiences with it in the very few that have handled with it. Um, I just had a um, custom fixed blade made in S90V, and I only sold, I sold it after only like a couple weeks of having it. I actually sold it to Don. Um, he ended up buying it from me. But S90V is, it's not the toughest steel, um, but it has really good edge retention. And I think for a pocket knife like this, um, it's probably not going to be, you know, a really hard use knife. You're going to go out and beat up and stuff like that outdoors. Um, I think it's a very nice and very adequate steel for that. Um, you guys can see, obviously, it is rocking. It has a DLC coated blade. Um, it's a fully blacked out knife, except for the loop over style wire puck clip that it has on there. Um, I really would have liked to seen it be black as well, just to complete the whole sort of sinister and menacing look. Um, I don't know why they didn't, you know, make that black as well. Uh, it's not reversible, which is something that I thought maybe would be a little bit confusing. Uh, I think they definitely could have tapped and added a little slot over there to flip the clip over. Um, but the clip goes deeper than the pocket knife, um, which is really cool. So it, it, this thing is a super deep carry. Um, I definitely can appreciate that. It is a frame lock with a lock bar insert. And you have a lot of lock bar access over here, which is nice. Um, I can always appreciate that as well. It's on bearings. Um, for internal milling, there is three pockets on the show scale side and two pockets on the uh, lock bar side the um the listing on here doesn't give me as much you know technical statistics as some other knives on here um, on don's website so maybe um, they didn't send him that much as well so i don't have an exact blade length or a um, weight as well but i would have to say this is at least three or below ounces it's very lightweight for the size um, and i think the the blade shape if i would have to guess um would be probably i don't know three and a quarter 3.15 inches um somewhere around there uh overall length is nice um you know it's a, it's a nice knife. I've really enjoyed it. You know, I think that's all for materials, so I don't want to ramble off too much. But uh, there is a bl uh, black backspacer, which matches the rest of the um, the black and sort of menacing look. I just really wish I would have added a uh, black pot clip instead of a um, stainless steel pot clip. It kind of was a little confusing to me. But uh, moving on to action. The one negative that I can kind of give this knife is the detent is very light. Um, it took me a little bit of time you know, after fit or, or sitting with it and fidgeting with it to kind of get used to the light detent. 
Um, you guys can see it's not taking me much pressure at all to pop this out of there. And it's not really popping back in with like a resounding snap or a pop. Kind of just falls right back in. Um, but after you get used to it, you can still manipulate and, you know, um, use this knife very, very easily. You kind of just have to find the right area to, to find, to put your thumb on. Um, and for me personally, I found that if you kind of put it like right on sort of the corner there, maybe a little bit up towards top, um, it fires very consistently. Um, you know, as long as you're not like down, down here on it, that's when I think you're going to get it to misfire. But as long as you land up top, um, or on the corner area, it's going to fire very, very consistently. Um, you just kind of have to give it a little bit more gas than what maybe you're used to with front flippers. Um, and some people are going to hate that. Like I know Kevin over at left EVC, um, I think he had one of these in, I can't remember if, the one he had had a light D10 or not. Um, it's been a while since I've, you know, I remember him having that in. So I think he would probably hate having a light D10. You can strengthen it if you mess with a lock bar, but this isn't my knife, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but, you know, it's very drop shutty because you have that light D10. Um, you know, it's, you guys can see, bang it open, drops to your nail. And then all you're going to do is really kind of just, see, a little bit of shakeage, but other times you can get it. You just kind of maneuver your hand a little bit and move it around um, and it'll drop home. And another nice thing is you can middle finger flick this knife um, just due to how the blade is shaped and how, you know, you just have a little bit of um, area to get your middle finger on there and it bangs right out very consistently. So that's a nice added feature. I love when you have front flipping knives that you specifically or technically only have one opening method with the front flipper. I love when they have enough blade sticking out of there that you can middle finger flick it. Cause to me that makes, you know, that takes the knife to a whole nother level. Um, you know, I can get behind just having a, you know, a single front flipping method on a knife, but having that extra opening method, uh, specifically with a middle finger flick just makes it really just that much better. Um, you might be able to thumb flick it, yeah, you can thumb flick it, but I, it's kind of awkward because you kind of have to like hold the knife differently. And then um, it's not as consistently and not as reliable as a middle finger flick. But all in all, it's, you know, it's very snappy. The middle finger flick detent is nice. Um, it's very crisp, fires out of there. You know, you have a lot of lock bar access, which I mentioned earlier, which is nice. Um, you can do the top flip, kind of like the reach around. Um, you can do, because the light detent, you can almost kind of like slow roll it out like this. Um, it's a little bit awkward, but you definitely can do it. And then you can do the um, sort of the flip over or the roll over flip. Uh, do that light detent, you can do a lot of different opening methods with this knife. And uh, it's very smooth. There is maybe a smidgen of blade play, but it's locked up pretty tight. Um, lefties can do it. Very, Just a very smooth, very nice, very fidgetable um, front flipper. And I, I really do appreciate that. So no complaints at all there. Next up is Ergos. Oh, as I... Don't flip it open. Um, and ergos in this knife are really, really nice. Uh, it's a very simple, very just very clean, very crisp um, looking knife. Pretty much have a straight line right here. It does taper off towards the back a little bit. You have a nice forward finger choil that's about, I'd say that's about like an 80-20 um, choil with about 20% blade and 80% of the handle. And then you have a little bit of a kind of a point there, um, which kind of fits right in between your fingers nicely. And then it tapers off towards the back. You do have a little bit of a swell, but all in all, it makes for a very, very nice deployment or uh, deployment ergonomic experience. Uh, I probably would not hold it back here because it's, you know, I can still fit four fingers on here, um, but it's a little bit awkward with kind of how that like you don't have enough like natural enough of a natural restriction point um between the choil and the rest of the the blade um to really you know it's just not very comfortable in my opinion uh the best way for this knife is definitely choking up and utilizing that choil um there is no jipping up here which i can you know take it or leave it so it's no complaints at all there but very comfortable you can kind of land your thumb back here if you need it or you can land your thumb way up here depending on the you know specific cuts that you're doing um, and when you're choked up, you have plenty of blades sticking out or blade, plenty of handles sticking up out of there. So no complaints at all there. Uh, the pot clip, nice thing about wire clips. They're, they're very unobtrusive. They're usually very good for an Ergo department. You know, they're not going to be super hot spotty or anything like that. Uh, and even when you're choked back, you can't really feel the pot clip. And then when you're choked up in that nice, you know, forward, uh, 
sort of choked up position the pot clip definitely is you know non-existent almost like you you cannot feel it um and the titanium is nicely rounded has a nice sort of texture to it uh it's not you know super milled or it doesn't have any milling or anything like that so it's not like super um grippy but it's definitely not slick you don't you know you're not going to be feeling like you're going to be dropping this knife or anything like that um so all in all it's very very comfortable in this choked up position you can do some precise cuts um and you know Argos definitely make the cutting ability of a knife a lot better, in my opinion, uh, and I have no complaints at all for the Ergo department on this. It's very comfortable um, and just a very clean, simple design. So um, next up is Carry. Now, I said how this knife doesn't have a specific specific excuse me weight on the website, so I can't give that to you guys, but it's very lightweight. It has a lot of internal milling, a lot of skeletonization going on on the scales. Um, so this thing makes for a really, really nice Carry especially with that wire pot clip that goes deeper than the knife. Uh, so this thing sits really far down in your pocket. You know, you are, this thing basically disappears. Uh, it makes for a very, very nice carry. You have no flipper tab or anything like that over here. It's all nicely contoured and rounded, no sharp edges at all. Um, so this thing drops into your pocket. It carries super duper well, um, lightweight, you know, nice, slim, thin, you know, it's a little bit tall, but it's a nice package, nice sleek package. Um, and I've had nothing but good things when I've carried this knife. I think I've carried this, I think I carry it in jeans one time. And I also think I carried it, I've carried it in gym shorts around the house multiple times. And I think I've carried it in khaki shorts once or twice. Um, so it's, you know, I've carried it in a lot of different, you know, methods and ways. Um, and all in all, I, like I had no complaints about this knife from a, a carry department. Um, really no complaints at all about the knife in general, just maybe having a black, black pocket clip um, and the fact that they could tap it for lefty carry. But um, carry is fantastic. It's lightweight, slim, you know, thin, um, everything you want in a pocket knife. So again, no complaints at all there. That takes me to my final category of price point and what I'd recommend this knife. I can recommend this knife to anybody, guys. Um, if you like the way it looks and you like the overall aesthetic of it, I could see some people not really liking it because it kind of does have a little bit of a funky blade shape all in all when you're looking at the overall aesthetic of it. I like it, um, but again, I kind of think it's a combination of a drop point with a little bit of a recurve. Uh, so it's definitely unique, and I could kind of think I could kind of see people thinking it maybe looks a little ugly and maybe it looks a little bit off for the handle to blade ratio, but I don't think it does. Um, I think it looks nice. I think it looks clean. It carries very well. You have fantastic, you know, fidgetability with middle finger flick. You have the, you know, typical front flip. Um, you can slow roll the front flick or the front flip, and then you can also do the reach round, uh, so on and so forth. Maybe the D10 can be a little bit stiffer, uh, but I've, you know, grown to appreciate it and enjoy it is for what it is. Um, but I could definitely see people maybe having a grape with that. But I think for the, you know, the price tag, which on DNK knives is $190. I think that's very fair. I think PMP has a good, um, a good thing here. Uh, again, this is the first thing that I've handled from that company. Uh, I don't know. I think they OEM their own products. Um, so if they do, I think this is a very well-built product with very good tolerances. You know, it's very smooth. Um, it's very lightweight. Just like I said, I think I've said this like numerous times. There's just really nothing about this knife that I have to complain about except for making the pocket look black and kind of blending in you know, total with everything uh, that, that they have going on with sort of that menacing look that they have. Um, so I can recommend it to anybody. I think $190 is very adequate. And you're getting S90 steel or S90V steel, which is again, kind of a, you know, you don't see it as much nowadays. Um, it's, it's definitely not a super high use steel like 20 CV or M390. So it's a little refreshing to have a little bit of a break from that um, and to see a knife company go in a little bit different, different of a um, direction so i can definitely applaud pmp for that but yeah 190 dollars. i think it's worth it i think anybody who enjoys the um the design should pick you know could pick one up i think anybody that likes the aesthetic of it i don't think they're going to be disappointed um i think all in all it's a fantastic knife and i have really really enjoyed it like i said it's probably my favorite that i had in from dawn um and i'm, I'm not going to run to go pick one out uh just because i have some other stuff 
right now, but I could definitely see myself picking one of these up in the future. Maybe if I found a good deal on a secondary um, or something like that, or just, you know, wanted, you know, I missed it because um, it's a good knife and I've really, really enjoyed it. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm at four, 14 minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm, I'm hitting that 15 minute mark, which I'm proud of I'm trying to get my reviews down a little bit, you know, a little bit smaller for you guys, a little bit easier to listen to. So um, again, Dawn, Thank you so much, brother. I really do appreciate you sending me this as long or as well as the other three ones that you sent me. Um, I appreciated the content and I appreciated getting to know some different knives. So uh, link in the description down below to the PMP user two. Uh, this was my full review on it. And I think it's a fantastic front flipping model for you guys to check out. So, um, and as always, Blue Creek Knives and Barnscraft Designs are linked in the description down below. Use code 814EDC to save some money off at both of those websites. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna to wrap this up for you guys but thank you again so much for watching I, I always you know i always really appreciate each and every one of you for if you're commenting for checking out my videos um and we're, we're slowly getting towards a thousand so we're gonna get there sooner or later but hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening night morning whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace